Kalani's made a lot of the third downs, obviously. I think he said the average is third and nine for you guys against TCU. What's the goal this week to, to get better on that? Yeah, I think we're I think we're close to third and nine for the season. Okay. I think I think it's somewhere around there, yeah. Um, yeah, we're just we got obviously it sounds sounds too simple, but you just have to play better on first and second down. You know, we're we're not making enough yards on the early downs and we're putting ourselves in tough third and nines, you know, third and longs, a lot a lot of those and uh, those aren't easy. You know, we've the last couple of years we've been good on third down because we get ourselves to a manageable distance and then a lot of times uh, we would be in a position to be really aggressive on third down because we could even use fourth down if we were close enough. Um, but this year it's been a struggle being third and long all the time. So the goal is just to be more efficient on early downs. Kalani said on Monday that pretty much everything was on the table to get to some of those third and manageables. Yeah. Have you thought at all about like what you can do maybe play calling wise is like running the ball less on the table or anything like that? I mean, I thought about everything. I mean, yeah. And uh, not not trying to you know uh, uh, mock your question or anything like that. I'm just literally like don't sleep, working 24/7 on this. And so yeah, um, we're looking at every option we have to just whether it's players, you know, every player we have in the program, um, every scheme you can think of that might have a chance. At this point in the season, it's hard to put in completely new schemes. You know, those things usually don't turn out well if you practice them for two or three days. But, uh, yeah, there's we, we are uh, constantly evaluating everything we do. We were just talking to Cody, and he, he gave, like, a lot of personal responsibility on himself. He said, I need to be better. I need to do this. I want to do these things that will help but trickle to the team. He said a lot of the players are doing that after this tough loss. Is that what you see from the guys, and, and how valuable is it? Yeah, we have good guys on this team. I, I appreciate their accountability, and, uh, you know, it starts with me. I, I, I've told, I told the players Monday that, you know, the product on the field is, is my responsibility, and it hasn't been good enough, and so I'll never blame them. Um, I'll always, I'll always stand here and take any questions and take any heat that comes, um, you know. And and when we've been really good on offense, uh, you know that's that's been nice. But lately, we have not been good enough, and so that's on me, you know. And so I'll, I'll never blame them. And I appreciate them being accountable, though. We do need that. We need everybody, everybody in the program to look at themselves and see what they can do better, coaches and players. I wanted to ask you about Keanu, obviously his connection to Texas Tech with his dad and everything. Yeah. Do you remember when he was recruited here and just bringing him to BYU? Yeah, I do. I wasn't directly involved in his recruitment, so I've gotten to know Keanu more since he's been here. Um, and he's, you know, just a joy to coach. He's a great, great kid. And talk about someone who's accountable, you know, and, and um, there's been times in his career where he was playing a lot and then not playing very much for a while because – like Puka and Samson and some guys came back from injury. And then when he did get his chance, he played really well again, never never complained, just kept working. He's a he's a team guy all the way. Has he been banged up at all this year? And do yes. You expect him to play? Yeah, he's, he's pretty banged up um, for a few weeks now. He's not not quite not quite 100%. He's just a really tough kid, so he, he keeps wanting to play every week. and But he is limited right now. He's been limited for, for a bit, just... Uh, and so he's just battling through it. Is there any concern about the amount of hits that Keaton's taken? He got a pretty slow a couple of times against TCU. Um, of course. I mean, we are doing a decent job in pass protection considering the fact that our run game is struggling so badly. You know, the best, the best uh, pass protection is a great run game. And the last few years when we've been able to run the ball well, our play-action pass has been pretty deadly, and that's where we've gotten most of our explosive plays. And... With our struggles in the run game, now the play-action pass is sort of, you know, not as viable as it's been, and then you become more reliable on just straight drop-back pass. And once the other team can pin their ears back, man, it's, it gets tough. So considering the fact that we're in that position, I'm proud of our O line for how they've protected in our court and our uh, running backs. I mean, we definitely would like to do better, but the best way to fix that is to run the ball better. Speaking of Keaton, he, he didn't look as crisp as I think we've seen him earlier this mm-hmm. year in that last game. Is there a reason for that, or is it just you know getting the rust off from the bye week, or just you expect him to be back to what we've seen earlier? Yeah, he, he didn't have a great game, uh, but nobody did. I mean, it was Saturday was <laughs> was not a good day at all, and it starts with me, and uh, I take responsibility for it. But I have a lot of belief in him and expect him to bounce back and play well, and 
um, he, uh, you know, that's that's what I expect. How close, how close is Aiden to coming back, and how much do you think him not being available has affected the run game so far? I think he's really close. I think there's a good chance he'll play this week, um, and we miss him. Yeah, I think I think Aiden's a good player, and I um, he he did a great job in in fall camp, and obviously we watched very closely what he did last year. You know, th- rushed for a thousand yards last year, so it, we'd love to get him back and looking forward to his return. Do you feel like Chase has ascended to the number one role at wide receiver? Uh, we don't really think of it that way, but Chase has been. I, I think you know he's been very productive, uh, and he is uh, playing good football. I mean, he's he's a he's he's been a bright spot in a in in what you know a situation that's been difficult. He's been a bright spot for sure.